35 that is the time for you on this Friday morning. So in just a few hours, 200 dogs are getting a new lease on life. These animals were rescued from a South Korean dog meat farm and 14 of them are making their way right here to the Tampa Bay area. Then as reporter Sarah Hollenbeck joins us live at the Humane Society in Tampa and some people Sarah, when they heard about this story, they were a little skeptical of it. Just think about it. You're coming here to the shelter to pick up a dog, but when you get here, this dog hasn't been socialized. It's coming from another country. You don't know the background of where it came from, how it was treated, and it may not even be suitable for a pet. Plus, as they come here and they see this welcome sign, you know, they bring them in today. The other big thing that people worry about is illness, but take a look at this video. This is really cool. I got to meet this lady. She lives in St. Pete and she adopted a golden retriever named Named Jasper from a South Korean dog meat farm and Kristen Maselli says that that was the best decision she ever made. Take a look. This is Jasper. He's about three years old, but you would never know it. He is really calm from spending the first two years of his life inactive in a metal crate, and he also loves to hide in dark, cramped places. But otherwise, Maselli says he is the hands down the best dog in the world. And when the Golden Retriever Rescue Network told her Jasper's story, she was hooked. We Googled some South Korean phrases like sit and he didn't pick up on any. So probably he didn't have much interaction with adults. We don't exactly know what his first couple years of life were, but he was probably shoved in a crate somewhere. He um, is adapting very well. He's, he's very happy. And the Humane Society has a big goal to rescue more dogs just like Jasper. This latest rescue marks the sixth dog meat farm closure by the Humane Society. But there's also a lot of campaigns right now in South Korea targeting young people to kind of change their opinion about dogs so they no longer consider them dinner, but rather they think of them as pets. But a lot of you have big concerns about the shelter taking in all these dogs from another co country when really there's so many dogs locally here that need help. So I went straight to the Humane Society to ask them about that and got their response. So coming up at 630 here, why they say it's so important that we bring in these dogs from South Korea right here to Tampa. Back to you.